Hello, my name is Ioannis Dizoglu and in this tutorial we are going to learn uh, how to use uh, a count if function and also find out the purpose of using the count if function. Here, as you can see, I've got a worksheet called customers, so I've got all my customers here. Uh, for the membership section, I created uh, a drop down list, a combo box that checks the values that are stored in the data worksheet. So I've got uh, gold, membership, uh, silver and bronze. Let's go back to the customers. Uh, a co depending on what which membership I'm going to select, the ID will change. I succeeded this by going to Format Control. I've selected my data, as you can see, gold, silver and bronze. And for the link, I've selected the membership ID. Let's close that. So depending on which <coughs> membership uh, option I'm going to select, the ID will change. We need the ID there so we can actually create the calculations later on. For the end user point of view, you don't really need to display the ID. So once you finish this, what you can do, you can actually highlight these two columns, uh, sorry, this column, and uh, select hide. Okay, so even though the column still exists, uh, the end user will not be able to see it. So we have a nice and professional uh, structure of uh, the options here. So let's highlight these two columns and I'll hide. Uh, we need this uh, for the meantime, so I can actually show you what I've done. Uh, we use a count if function here. We need to create a count if function to calculate how, mem how many members uh, are gold members they've got a gold membership, how ma many members have the silver membership and how many members have the me uh, bronze membership. This will be a count if function that will check a specific number. Also here on the right hand side let's change the background color so we're not going to get confused. Uh, let's make this a bit uh, brighter. Okay. Here also what I have is uh, customers with a surname uh, Dizoglu. So we have uh, here a count if function that is checking for a specific word. So in this case, we're looking for the cells, okay, uh, the customer surname cells, okay, and we're looking for a specific name. So it's going to give us a number, okay, of the amount of times that this word is keep repeating within this column. The amount of number is four. One, two, three, four, that's correct. It's easy to locate that way, but when usually talking about businesses, businesses usually have over a hundred you know hundred customers. Some businesses have millions of good different customers. So how you will be able to find easily and quickly how many members have a specific membership? You can do this by apply count if function. So let's delete that and that and that and that. Let's find out how I did that, how I achieved this uh, outcome. So if I select uh, my gold membership here, I'm going to select and insert a new function. This function will be a count if function. I'm going to click OK. Now the range that I'm looking at is going to be the range for the membership ID. I will not be able to select the drop down lists. And that's why I've linked the contents of the drawdown list, I've linked the ID on this column. Now this column in the end, we can actually hide this column in the end. The criteria that I'm, I'm looking at is because I'm looking for the gold member, the gold member has an ID 1. So I'm going to type number 1 here. Click OK. Now, I'm looking for the ID 1 for the gold because if I go on my data, the gold membership have the ID 1, the silver membership have the ID 2, etc. So if I go back to my customers table, worksheet, so I've got here zero members that have got the gold package. So if I drop down the list here and select gold here, I've got one member, if I select gold, two, three, and four members. One, two, three, four, five. Now here I've got five members, but some for some reason this this cell didn't work. 
So let's right click here on the combo and let's find out what's wrong with the formula. The data that I'm displaying is correct. The problem is on the self link. It's looking for E4. So let's delete that and let's select this again and let's click OK. Now it's fixed. Sometimes you will come across some problems. If something doesn't work properly, what you have to do is you have to go back to the for, uh, format control and check your formulas or your, your cell links or input ranges to reapply what you applied. Okay? So I've got now five members. So if I ch select a silver here, I've got four members. Now on the silver membership uh, section, I will do exactly the same thing. But this time, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create an, again a count if function. I'm looking for the same values. So I'm going to check that, selecting this section here. And the criteria that I'm looking at is number two. Because the silver package has the ID field number two, as you can see here as well. So we have one member with silver. So if I count, drop down the list here, I have two, and automatically the gold, gold membership goes down. And I'm going to do exactly the same for the bronze. If you want to speed up the process instead of, uh, of actually applying an account if statement, what you could do is select uh, the old count if statement because you're still looking for the same data. Um, select, let's press escape, okay? Select the bronze uh, membership field, paste. Uh, the code and now what you're looking at you want to count if the value is 3 because the ID 3 if we go back to our data ID 3 is the bronze package so let's go back to the customer so if I select now a uh, bronze straight away the membership ID changes to 3 and automatically here I have one member so by doing this you can easily uh, change the membership and you can actually check uh, the amount of people you know have a specific membership uh, title there okay now what we're going to do we finish now with our membership so the membership ID we don't really need to display this anymore okay so, so let's hide it so things will look a lot more professional now what we want to do is uh, follow the same process as we followed with the uh, count if to find the membership package that the customers have. If you want to find the amount, the number of people who have the same surname, say for instance, what we could do, we could actually uh, apply a count if function here. Count if, okay. We're going to check the range of the surname and then the criteria will be the actual name of the criterion. I click OK. So the name, the surname Dizoglu repeats four times. So here we know that we have a customer with the same surname four times. If I go back to my account if statement, I can replace the surname with, uh, with maybe a cell to make it a, a bit more uh, functional. So say for instance, instead of uh, the name uh, Dizoglu, what we could do we can actually select uh, this cell here so we can specify a, a specific cell so let's put there N1 uh, let's put N2 and enter now whatever I'm gonna put uh, here I could put please add a surname so uh, basically what I'm doing, I can create a little search engine. So we're going to here type uh, cool. So we type in this surname here and press enter. And that doesn't work. The reason it's not working is because we have the contents. Because we specify a cell, we need to remove the speech marks. And now we can actually see the amount of number. So here, let's change the background color 
uh, make it bold as well so this is the title so if I type here this glue we have four as you can see the county function is quite powerful uh, and can be used uh, in uh, different ways thank you very much